Anchorage Assembly members are talking once again about how to move forward with creating shelter for people experiencing homelessness. Lauren Maxwell wins that today's work session today. Lauren, any progress? Well, Rebecca, that depends on who you ask. Assembly members have taken what they're calling a clean slate approach to discussing shelter, which means a lot of talking. But some people say the time for talk is over, including one man who has plenty of concerns about a shelter near him. I now call to order this work session of the Anchorage Assembly. The meeting started with a list. Noise, people screaming of concerns community members have about having shelters nearby. Another issue that has come up is traffic and the danger in crossroads. But while assembly members are talking... Only once we get these concerns on the table can we start to talk about how to address them. One man is tired of the noise. 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, they're out here screaming and yelling. Danny Parrish lives right by the Sullivan Arena. Can't get any closer. I'm directly across the street. He's owned his home for 30 years. He says issues with people staying at the shelter. Indecent exposure almost daily where they're peeing and pooping. Have forced him to spend thousands of dollars on security. But again, it makes it look like a prison, you know. Does anybody else have one of these in front of their home? Parrish is tired of hearing assembly members talk. He wants action. But talking is a big part of the Clean Slate plan. We do need action, but we can't get to action without having really sincere community conversation. The assembly says the Sullivan is not the model for a shelter going forward. Frankly, the Sullivan has been used now far too long for that purpose, and that neighborhood needs a reprieve. And we have an opportunity here to imagine, and that's what today's conversation was about, how can we imagine a better way? But Danny Parrish can't imagine his neighborhood will ever recover. I would really appreciate it if the mayor would just buy my house for $400,000 and let me drive away because I don't ever foresee this neighborhood being what it was. He's ready to walk away. Now, on April 11th, assembly members will vote on a day to shut down the Sullivan Arena as a shelter. Right now, that's scheduled for April 30th, although it's possible that could change. And they're also scheduling a number of town hall meetings throughout the next few months to get more input from the public about shelters in general.